Hello lovelies, welcome back. I'm so glad you could be here with me. Um, I have just sat through the premiere with you on the Crystal and Kylan um, tarot reading that I just recently did. Um, and I've had some more questions come up from you guys. So the first one is, has he killed before, this perpetrator? And did he has he killed two girls before? I think the question was, is this a hate crime? And was it the guy that committed suicide? Now, I don't recall hearing about someone who committed suicide, but I will ask, okay? Because um, it will be interesting to see. Now, I'm just going to light up my stuff here if I can get it burning. Okay. And going to clear my space. Call into my spirit guides, spirit family, guardian angels, divine doorkeepers, peacekeepers, energy balancers, please. Thank you, spirit. Calling in Kylan's and, and Crystal's spirit family or spirit team to come in and help us today to get clear answers for this reading. Please white light yourselves, guys, if you're very sensitive to any energies. Um, all you got to do is visualize the white light around you, okay? So... It's just that because we open up to a lot of different energies in these readings and I think it's really, um, you know, a really good practice to get into, psychic protection. Um, so let's have a look, okay? So I don't want this to be a long reading. I always say this, but they end up being a long reading because I tend to read in detail. Um, but today it's just the questions that I'm going to do as an, as an extra, okay? Because I can't think of any other questions I want to ask besides uh, the spirit session that I'll do with the girls. So let's see. All right. Thank you, spirit. All right. And we'll, we'll ask again if it's Brian or someone else, okay? So I've still got the cards. This is a different deck. Um, that, but the same cards apply for Brian's cards or a, the stranger's cards, okay? The random weirdo that we like to call him. Um, okay, let's see. Thank you, spirit. So we're going to ask, and I've used my wands cards for yes, sword cards for no. So we're going to see, okay? Um, <clears throat> just making sure this table's straight. Uh, we're going to see... First up, the question was, was this a hate crime, okay, by Gizmo? Thank you, Gizmo, for the question. So, was this a hate crime but, uh, with Kylan, Shilty, and Crystal Turner, please? Was this, was their death as a result of a hate crime, please? King of Cups is Brian's energy. Very interesting. King of Cups is Brian's energy, the Scorpio. It's still not answering it though, but was this a hate crime? Was this a hate crime? No. Okay, the swords are a no. Wands are a yes, but you could probably say that, okay, maybe in some ways it was a hate crime. I mean, this person has hatred in their heart, but it might not have been strictly for the fact that they were a gay couple, okay, which could be seen as a, as a hate crime. I don't think... Um, Maybe this person didn't necessarily go after them because they were gay. Maybe it was because they were there. Maybe it was because um, they shunned this person, they rejected him. Um, maybe he's got it against women. But I don't think it was specifically around the fact that they were gay. Um, in some parts, I think he just didn't like them there either. So can we see, please, Spirit, is Brian... Was Brian the murderer of Kylan and Crystal? Wands for yes, swords for no. We've got the chariot, we've got the fool, and the six of chalices, the six of cups, and the sun card. So these just tell a bit of a story. There's the vehicle. And look at this. This is crazy. A man standing behind a tree in, on his own, okay, in this vast land out in the bloody outback nowhere. So it's almost like tire tracks going up there too. It's so creepy. So as I said, and if you don't know, I am a reader who does read tarot. I know how to read tarot. I know the meanings. But in my particular missing persons cases, I look at the pictures. I sometimes just ignore the meaning of the card and it tells me other things. Okay, just so you know, I see I see that this guy is driven up at night because they did say, I think, that he came back with food and clothes. I mean, that might have been in the day. Who knows? Um, but this is him driving in a vehicle at night, okay? Maybe parked under a tree. 
Um, once again, this has come up again. Now, this was in the last tarot reading um, of Kyle and, and uh, Crystal that I just did. Um, and it was coming up as like someone from the past returning back into their life. Um, could be someone who's got children too, all right? Someone who might have children. Because we also have a baby here, which is really interesting. So it could be someone that has children. Uh, the kings are usually also like a father figure. Um, so even though I see that as a Brian's energy, usually kings represent like a fatherly person. Uh, the sun is the Leo, Cancer, Aquarius, and Scorpio, just so you know the star signs. This is Sagittarius being Jupiter. Um, so the sun, something's come to light on a situation. Let me just see. The Eight of Cups. <sighs> okay, so abandoning something. Let me just get an idea, okay? It's kind of veering off from what I wanted to talk about. <laughs> I'm asking a question about, is Brian, because maybe, maybe this is kind of giving me a storyline of who the person is. Could have been that this person abandoned their own family, abandoned their own children, okay? If this person is a father and they have, because in the last reading it showed someone who has a family home. Uh, if he's a father, he, uh, he could, be, could have abandoned his children. Um, and he might have a beard, okay? He might have a beard or he might have brown hair, scruffy hair. Um, we got brown hair in this one as well. So sometimes I really do feel the cards can tell us and show us things. Um, this has also got black, brown, black hair, and we got brown, black hair down here as well. Okay. Um, all right. I wonder if there was an eclipse of the moon on the. I'd like to check out that. I wonder if I could on the chart somewhere, the moon chart, uh, what the moon was like on August 13th this year. I'm sure I could figure it out. Um, it would be interesting to see. So anyway, get back to the question. Was Brian the one that killed these girls? Wands for yes, swords for no, please, spirit. Which one is it? Got two of pentacles. So juggling. Look at the little rabbit. Oh, gosh. Crystal and Kylan had a little rabbit, guys. They had a rabbit, a pet rabbit called Ruth. Um, and the little rabbit was there at the campsite in a cage. At the time of the murders. So this is actually unraveling a story here. Can you please tell me, is Brian Laundry involved, please? Wands for yes, swords for no. Swords for no. No, he's not. By these cards, he's not. Okay, so even though his cards come up here, it could still be an element or a characteristic of this person. Um, so that could be something or, you know, it could be Brian, but I'm going with this card saying, no, it's not. Also, my gut feeling is telling me it's not Brian. Um, six of pentacles, another rabbit and the two women. Oh my God. The two women out in the countryside with a rabbit, guys. How can, oh my God, you can't make this up. This is amazing. Um, all right. What's the other question we had? Now, was the perpetrator the guy that just recently committed suicide? Okay, the, whoever that is. I, I, unfortunately, I don't have a picture of him. I don't have his name, so I can't really connect with the energy. All I can go by is what the, the comment in um, the comment said from the person in my video. Um, so, Spirit, if you can connect with that one, please. The person that recently committed suicide, who may be linked to this case. Are they responsible for Gabby and... Oh, sorry, not Gabby. Crystal and Kylan's deaths, please. Is he responsible for Crystal and Kylan's deaths, please? Wands for yes, swords for no. We've got a wands. Okay, that could be true. This Whoever this guy is could be responsible. I'd have to look into that because I've got no idea about this guy. So it's kind of... It is a bit hard to put my energy into it, but this is a, this is a yes. This is saying yes. Um, will the truth come out very soon, please? Will this person... Yeah, will the truth come out very soon, please? Will there be a breakthrough, please? Once for yes, swords for no. Will there be a breakthrough, please? The moon. So there's still things hidden behind the scenes. I think what's going on here is that there's still things hidden 
from um, even investigators at the moment. It's a little bit hazy. Things are a bit confusing in the case. But we've got the sun here, which means the, the, the light is going to shine on this, okay? I do feel like it will come out. The, uh, when the moonlight comes out from the clouds and it's a full moon, it, you can see clearly. But at the moment, there's some secrets and things hidden behind the scenes. Maybe it's the investigators keeping things close to their chest as well. Um, will there be justice for Kylan and Crystal, please? Once for yes, swords for no. Will there be justice? Three of Pentacles. People working together as a team to bring this to about, okay? Will there be justice for the girls? Yes. Yes, there's a celebration around this, thank God. There is going to be justice for the girls. Beautiful. This is stability. This is the happy home celebrations, okay? So that does show me that around the family are going to be celebrating because there's going to be a breakthrough, because there's going to be justice coming in due to the hard work of people coming together to, to unveil the truth, okay? That's what I'm getting there. So I don't know. I, I still, once again, have to check out that uh, guy who's, you know, uh, killed himself basically and see if I can get a connection with him because even though it's saying yes I'm not too certain on it as yet um, but it's interesting I'd like to suss it out where he was and investigate it a little bit more uh, what other questions can I have please spirit um, okay so will somebody hand this guy in like will they you know will someone like someone that knows him um, that knows he's done this, will they go to police? Strength card. So someone's restraining themselves from coming forward. It seems like they know. And it's interesting, we've got the green man there too, someone who's an outdoorsman or someone who goes outdoors, whether it be a female or male. It's someone who's out with nature or one with nature. So it could be a male being a masculine kind of energy with the Leo too, the lion. Uh, it could be another male knows about this and is restraining themselves and controlling themselves from coming forward. I don't know why. Maybe they're loyal to the person. Are they loyal to this perpetrator? Is there a loyalty to the perpetrator, please? Eight of Pentacles working hard on something. So maybe they work together. They could work together. Um, maybe this person is also a criminal. <laughs> Who knows? You know, usually like attracts like. Um, but there's something that this person's working hard on is not not revealing. Maybe they're helping to cover up stuff here as well. So there could be someone else indirectly involved, not in the women like in the women's um, or the girls' murders, but someone after the fact. Okay, after the fact, who might be getting rid of the gun or uh, just helping to hide evidence somehow. Oh, that's crazy. That's come up because I did not think that would come up. Um, I wasn't expecting that. So, okay, so will this person still, I want to focus on this because we did see someone knows. So will they actually, will someone turn him in? Will someone that knows him turn him in, please? The high priest, huh? It's like the high priestess with that sacred knowledge. So I still feel like it could be even a priest, you know, someone who knows stuff and is not coming forward. But I don't really get that idea that this person's a Christian or anything. Uh, with a conscience but it's just interesting how I feel that kind of energy where there is somebody who has knowledge but is keeping it secret and to themselves so no I, I get a no even though it's not coming up with anything I feel that's a no okay they're not coming forward how would this person be found so is he going to turn himself in will the person turn himself in I doubt it but yeah stranger things have happened will he turn himself in the magician now, that was Brian's energy, too, uh, in the other cards. This is the, 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 the Magician, which is interesting because that's Gemini Virgo. Uh, Gemini is usually swords. Um, but anyway, let's have a look. Will he turn himself in, please, spirit? We've got Temperance and the swords. No, of course he's not going to turn himself in. <laughs> that's just stupidity. Why did I even ask? Um, so, no, he's not going to turn himself in. Definitely not. This is the Five of Swords, the Animosity card. This is the this was the card that actually came out for the perpetrator that I'd chosen in the other deck. See, the Five of Air or the Five of Swords is bad blood. He's not going to turn himself in and, and incriminate himself. No way. Um, temperance is healing, okay? It's patience. It's having faith. So once again, it's, there's a delay in this. There's a delay in this. And he's just trying to 
keep the peace at the moment. Wherever he is, he might be hiding low. <clears throat> he might be near a beach. Okay, we've got the beach here. Could be somewhere where there's water. It doesn't have to be a beach, but it could be somewhere where there's water. Once again, there's a bearded male. Someone could have a beard. Um, yeah, so... They've had a brush with the law before, so he, this person's either been to prison before or they just, it's almost like a family of criminals. There's something about this, and I get a brother with this person very strongly. This could be him, the brother. They're kind of like, like attracts like this, very similar in a lot of ways. I wonder if it's a brother. Wow, is it a brother? Is it his brother? Please, spirit, is this his brother? Wands for yes, swords for no. Is this his, is this his brother? Look! Yes, it is. And look what came out with it. Justice. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yes, this is his brother. He has a brother and his brother knows. You know, some people could say, well, it could be the father because that's the high priest is a fatherly kind of role, uh, role as well. Okay. But I, I'm feeling they're more on level with them rather than one below, one above. Like I feel like, and I'm never, I'm not, not ever claiming to be 100% correct. That's just my own feeling is that this person has a brother or it could be a very close friend who he calls a brother, but they are like this. Okay, so they, yeah, they, they are like that. Um, and justice is coming. Yes, I'm so happy about this. Justice is coming, bastard. Justice is coming to get you. Um, so, yeah, far out. I don't feel this person committed suicide. I just, I don't know, guys. I, I, as I said, I still have to go and check out that article and, and see what vibe I get from it. But, I don't know, the profile that I get from this person is extremely callous. Someone who doesn't have a heart, really, you know. Someone who would be remorseful. I understand that people can sometimes, you know, they do commit an act and then they can commit suicide. Um, but I think it's usually when they're so invested emotionally with the person. Um, and I'm, that's why I wondered if this person knew the girls because it seemed so personal with the way they were killed, um, you know, being shot down like that. But I think it's also a sign of someone who just couldn't stand them, you know, didn't want them around. Um, what else are we going to ask? Because I don't want this to be too long tonight. Um, so we saw he's not turning himself in. No one else is turning him in. Will the police catch up with him through evidence? Will the police catch up with him through evidence? Five of chalices, which is the regret, grief and loss. So there might have been some loss of evidence. Oh, fuck, I hope not. Um, especially if they were in the water, guys. If the girls were in the water, which I think they were. One was definitely in the water. I think the other one was... That could be a lot of evidence being taken away in the water, especially if they were assaulted sexually. Um, even, like, I don't know, bullet shells. I don't know how that would all work, but surely there would have been bullet casings or bullet shell casings or something around. Um, you know, I don't know. Or I can't tell with the, the whole thing, but um, there would have been, you'd think, footprints even, um, something, tire marks something around there that police would be able to find. I do feel they have stuff, but maybe, once again, it's just things that have to connect the dots. But when it comes to DNA, uh, bodily fluids and things like that, that might be something they can't connect it with. <clears throat> so are they going to solve the case through evidence, please, Spirit? Are they going to solve the case through evidence? No. No. Well, you'd think you'd need evidence, wouldn't you, to solve a case? You definitely need evidence. So I think in some ways it's a yes and a no. I feel like there is evidence, but it may not be the main sole reason why they go for this guy. It could be that someone, you know, it could be another, oh shit, I hope not. Is it another crime that he commits that's going to lead the police to him, please, spirit? Is it another crime that he commits that will lead police to him? Is it another crime that he commits that will lead police to him, please? Is it another crime? Once for, for yes, swords for no. Is it another crime 
that leads police to him, please, that he does. Another crime he commits that leads police to him. No, it's not. Um, is there a past... Uh, what do I say? Is there another crime? No. Um, does someone else turn him in? Does someone else turn him in, spirit? King of Pentacles. It's a very fatherly type of energy. Uh, could be... I don't know. I'm not really connecting with that at the moment. Someone else could turn him in. Yes, someone else is going to turn him in. It's very interesting. Ten of Wands, someone's burdened. This is over feeling overburdened by something. Someone has knowledge. So it's not this person. I do not feel this person's turning him in. This is someone else. Could be a fatherly figure. Maybe it is a father. Um, very interesting because, yeah, this is the king. So the king is like, as I said, the kings are like a father or someone older. So it could be someone older than him that's that's going to turn him in. It could be someone he works with being the pentacles here too. So it could be someone who just is suspicious or has wind of it or knows something. Oh, gosh. It could even be. Now, is Kylan's father going to crack the case? Because police, you know, maybe that's what the no is for the police. Maybe someone else is going to. Will, will Kylan's father crack the case? Yes. Yes, he's got information coming to him that he's giving to the police. The police aren't finding the evidence on their own. He's giving them information that will lead them to him, okay? So, amazing. Thank you, Spirit. Now, what I'm going to ask is I remembered um, Chihuahua. Thank you, Chihuahua, one of my subscribers, awesome lady. She's asked, has he killed before? Okay, I don't remember if I even asked that. I'm sorry if I did. I can't remember now. But has this man killed before, please? Has he killed before? Has he killed before? Has he killed before? Has he killed people before, please, spirit? Has he killed people before? Has he killed before? Has he killed people before? Got the Ace of Pentacles. So it's interesting because this is a new opportunity. So was this his path, his one opportunity to do this? Let's see. Has he killed before, please, spirit? This is a valuable opportunity. The world. The world is the success. This is saying a yes, okay? I want, still want to get the cards, but this is like the end of a cycle, the end of a journey. We've got the end. Well, it's interesting. We've got the beginning and the end. Does that mean that, okay, this happened and now it's closed? Let, let's have a look. Has he killed before, please, spirit? Has this man killed before? Has he killed people before? Has he killed people before? Has he killed people before, please, spirit? Wands for yes, swords for no. Has he killed people before? Seven of pentacles. Look, a little rabbit. Oh, my God. Well, that's one of the ladies. You know, that's that's. I would see that as crystal being the blonde. Okay, crystal. Gosh, so he's killed her. Um, has he? Who else has he killed? Has he killed before, please? Has he killed before the girls? Has he killed someone else before the girls? Before Crystal and Kylan, did he kill anybody else? Oh, my God. Yes, he did. Far out. And you know what this means, this card? This means fighting. This is arguments and competition and quarrels. So it's it's fighting. It's that heated argument. So and also this re represents siblings sometimes. Um, not saying he's killed a sibling, but God, who knows, you know. But that's interesting. That's saying yes, he has killed before, and that's no surprise considering the way he callously, cruelly killed Crystal and Kylan. Like this, he's he's done it before. He's done it before. Oh, God. Will he kill again, please, before he's caught? Will he kill again before he's caught, spirit? Will he... Knight of Cups. So that's the charming kind of energy here. That's the that's the energy that um, comes forward with, you know, is charming and with love, you know, wants to be a peacemaker and, and be a giver, sweep you off your feet. So maybe he's trying to sweet talk his way... Um, wherever he is now, okay, maybe he's lying low, just trying to sweet talk his way, make out he's just some innocent dude, um, so what fell down, just checking, I want to finish this up in a minute, what did I say, has he killed 
before the, did I say what did I say is he gonna kill again? Is he gonna kill again before his court please spirit? Will he kill again before his court please spirit? We've got the ten of chalices and the empress. This is a mother. He might be married. Oh my god, he might have a wife. Because the empress and the ten of chalices is the happy marriage, the emotional bliss with children. I said before I think he's got children. He might have abandoned the children, but there's a there's a a, a mother here. This was also, I think, Kylan's energy too. Look at the rabbits. When I did their star signs and, and numerology, hers came up there as well. But I don't think that's her. I think this is more about his life. Um, yeah. I think... He might have even killed his wife. I mean, who bloody knows with this? I don't really... It's hard to know. You know, I don't want to just say anything, but... And that's the mother. So has he killed his own mother? Because it feels like this card could represent family, like a family, a tribe of people, someone close-knit, someone close to him that he might have killed before. Will he kill again, please? No. No. He's not going to kill again because before he's caught so in other words he might be caught very soon is he going to be caught within the next three months no it's going to be a delay no not the next three months it's going to be delayed because this is the slowest moving night in the deck <sighs> which represents some you know some planning and time so is he going to be caught within the next six months please spirit will he be caught within the next six months Got the Ace of Chalices and the King of Wands. Yes, in the next six months, he's going to be caught. He's going to be caught because he won't be able to hide away for too much longer. That's what that is. See, once again, a guy with a beard. It's so interesting. It's, it's weird because I don't know if all of these cards have beards. Not all of the tarot normally have beards. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. Is that everything I need to know? I'm just trying to... I think, I mean, I've pretty much asked all the important questions, I think, I think. I hate this feeling of feeling like I've probably forgotten something. Um, yes, so, um, just thinking for a second, guys. Yeah, yes, I want to use my monology cards, there we go. Haha, <laughs> get some ideas on this. A time to give rather than take, new moon in Virgo. So I'm just getting some ideas what it might be saying here. <clears throat> it's time to release negativity, full moon in Scorpio. And communication is key. So people have to speak up, in other words. Even if they feel like it's, it's the wrong thing to say or they feel like, um, especially if they've got the knowledge, okay, and it's very heavy lying on their shoulders, they need to give it up rather than just keep it within. That's a strong message here. Yes, very much. And we've got the answers you need are coming. Oh, thank you, Spirit. The answers you need are coming. Isn't that amazing? Amazing. Oh, my God. Oh, I just, I have a feeling spirit, it's almost like Crystal and Kylan want to give you guys a message, okay? So I'm just, oh, did you see the orb? <laughs> Thank you. Yes, they're confirming. I just have to get a message. What ones do they want to give? Because there's a special card they want me to pick for you guys. There's a, they want me to pick the fairies, okay? The fairies, here we go. They want to give you guys a special message for watching and for helping. This is for you. This is your message from them. Thank you, Kylan and Crystal. Beautiful ladies. Beautiful. They're so giving and beautiful. I'm being asked to pick three, so take what resonates. Celebration. Get ready to let your hair down and celebrate. It's time to go out to dance and play. An invitation could be on the way. It's about having fun. Maybe it is someone, you know, that you are having feelings for that is inviting you to something, but it's time to celebrate. So enjoy that. Okay, let's have a look. What else? Believe in magic. Open your eyes and see the magic that's all around in nature. The fairy of the northern light says you are part of nature, so you are magical too. How beautiful. Because that's what they believed in. They were part of magic, you know, part of nature. Believing in magic. 
And Chihuahua said an awesome thing. She said that, uh, I'm just going to fix this camera up. She said that Kylan was like a real life empress. Oh my God. Yes, she was, wasn't she? She still is. I say she is. She is an empress. What else would they like to choose for you for a message? Friendship. Beautiful. Fairies and humans alike need friends. Now is the time to seek out those who will support and encourage you on your journey to fulfill your dreams. So beautiful because they, they recognize the importance of having people in your close tribe near you and with you, believing in the power of magic and celebrating life for what it is. And I know that sounds weird because it has been taken, but that's just who they are. So full of love and life and peace and happy to see other people happy and growing and building themselves up. And this is their way of saying thank you. Thank you for coming in and helping us. Thank you for helping us. And um, they're feeling even more and more um, determined to get this mother effer. Now, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> I never swear like that. Oh my God, forgive me. Um, but yeah, that's what I feel like I want to say about him. You know, that's that's almost like how I feel like they're saying this about him. Um, gosh. So anyway, guys, I look forward to connecting with you next time. Let me know if you have any other questions and take care. Love and blessings to you.